a half away is the smaller Gammon City Park. This place is a forested gem in the middle of the city, and it has a pl children's playground, quite a large one, with some picnic tables. Um, it's a smaller park that memorializes George G. Gammons, a Portland lawyer of the early 1900s. When he died in 1910, his wife Laura gifted the city six lots the park now sits on. Arbor Lodge schools include Chief Joseph Elementary School, which is grades K through four, and Ockley Green Middle School, serving the area's fifth through eighth graders. Ockley Green Middle School, school is classified as an arts and technology magnet school. Arbor Lodge is host to both the North Lawmord and Rosa Parks Max station so stops right along Interstate Boulevard. Nearby, there are parks and parks and recreation, including Peninsula Rose Park, which has basketball and tennis courts, a gymnasium, paved path, gorgeous old rose garden, play structures, and an outdoor swimming pool. The Matt Dishman Community Center and Pool is also located nearby with an indoor swimming pool, fitness center, and movement classes. Arbor Lodge hosts several religious organizations. A few of them are the Peace Lutheran Church, the North Minister Presbyterian Church, and the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witness. The Arbor Lodge community neighborhood vibe is very dynamic, very community conscious. You will see little things around the neighborhood that invoke community participation. For example, little free libraries. There's often free things out on the street, like um, fruits and vegetables that people grow in their own gardens. There is a prolific amount of growth happening, a mix of young families, singles, and local old timers who care about one another and the community. Neighbors bond and look out for one another. There are block parties, dog walking, joggers, bicyclists, feet hitting the pavement constantly, and babes and strollers. These are Arbor Lodge staples. Just so you know, the Arbor Lodge zip code is 97217. A little bit about Arbor Lodge history. On April 15, 1889, Duff E. Sherman, a cashier for Oregon National Bank of Portland, submitted the Arbor Lodge plat according to the history of Albina by Roy Roos. Arbor Lodge neighborhood developed as a residential subdivision around the same time as nearby Piedmont, Peninsular, and Overlook. Houses in Arbor Lodge were constructed from about 1910 to 1930, so you got some old ones there. However, there are new ones being built constantly, so the neighborhood is getting moder modernized. The most western portion of the neighborhood, known as Mox Crest Subdivision, was platted after World War II. In 1993, residents pursued historic design district status for the area because of its, quote, fine ensemble of bungalow and post-World War II housing, deep front building setbacks, and unique street lighting. However, it didn't qualify for historic designation then as it wasn't yet 50 years old. As with the surrounding neighborhoods, Arbor Lodge's real estate values have launched from Fixer Upper Starter Home to Established. If you go to the neighborhood listing page on portlandneighborhood.com forward slash Arbor Lodge, you can click to see current Arbor Lodge homes for sale. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed and learned a few new things about this gem of a neighborhood in Portland. Get out and explore and check out more at portlandneighborhood.com.